in this video, we will be looking popular front-end frameworks and libraries of web development. Because uh, if you're picking your career in your web development, then you should have a good knowledge of front-end also. Because uh, in beginning, you used to learn front-end and you should know like how latest projects are built, web development projects, but what are frameworks and libraries. So without wasting time, let's move ahead. And uh, so actually before starting, let's understand what front-end frameworks are. So front-end frameworks are software development tools that provide pre-written code for building user interfaces for web applications. Like suppose uh, you are building software, uh, you, you are building web applications and sometimes you will require a pre-written code so that your time for your project building should get reduced to a very good extent so that you can save your time and you can actually code important things and you should not uh, code irrelevant things. So frameworks provide you that power, that technology so that you can actually use pre-written code for building user interfaces and web applications. Okay. So this is the power of framework. These framework are nothing but some tools. So they include features like a grid system which can help uh, create responsive layouts. So this is actually grid system uh, example. Okay, so there are so many features like component feature of framework so that you can actually make components. Component is part of React. Okay, you might have used components, you might have made various components in React. Okay, so this is the actually features, kind of features that are available in various frameworks. They also follow some specific standards or conventions for organizing code which can make it easier for developers to work and code written by others. So suppose various people are working on a common project. Okay, so like, so like if you are working in a team, you have various team members working on the same project, then having a very good uh, code structure and organizing code can make it very easy for other developers to understand your work and to understand how code is working. Okay. So this is why organizing code and files is very important and this is actually happens when you are building a web project in a team. Okay. So the next thing that we have is some examples of popular front-end frameworks are Bootstrap, Foundation, Materialize, Vue or React. So these are some actually popular front-end frameworks and libraries that you can use like bootstrap view and react so i personally have used bootstrap material view and react okay and these are very awesome tools so the next thing that we have is benefits of front end frameworks so now let's see some uh, basic benefits that we actually get if we are using front end frameworks to build our front end for web applications so front end frameworks streamline the development of interactive user-centric websites. So actually you can build a very powerful web application front, front end using frameworks. Like suppose you can actually achieve SPA concept. You might have heard of single page application. Like if you, if you have used some websites in which if you go to other pages of that website, actually page doesn't load completely. So that concept is known as SPA. You might have used the concept of SPA. You can actually research about it, like what is single page application concept. So this is achieved by using the front end frameworks. They offer a ground to develop while still permitting flexibility with the final design. Actually, you can uh, have a good workbench on which you can actually build flexible designs. Uh, suppose if you are actually editing, creating, editing, creating, and actually edit your final design very easily. So it will not, your f use of front-end framework will not create things meshy. You can actually have flexibility in every aspect of coding. Okay, so this is the one of the popular benefit that you get if you are using front-end frameworks. 
they can help improve the user experience by making websites load smoothly and be intuitive to use what i meant by it is actually if you want to make uh, websites look more beautiful interactive while loading and if you want your website to load smoothly actually you can use front end frameworks for that if you build your web application front end using framework actually will get a less loading time your website will load smoothly and will look very interactive using front end frameworks can help business develop modern user driven websites web applications actually by using front end framework you can build powerful websites and uh, they will be having modern designs like motion and uh, less page size and various other benefits okay so these are some basic benefits that you can achieve if you use front end frameworks so the next thing that we have is let's see some popular front end frameworks and libraries so the first one is react react actually continues to dominate the front end space i personally use react majorly i also have used vue and other uh, popular libraries but as of my experience react is one of the most popular one because it is very beginner friendly and easy to use the next uh, other one is angular while angular retains a rather large usage percent the interest in the framework is an is at an all time low actually uh, angular is a little bit uh, tough to use in comparison to react okay and so there are some basic uh, complexions if you will use angular in your beginning if you are a beginner i would recommend you to use react okay and in comparison to angular so the other important front end framework is vue vue remains a solid choice for truly modern web development actually with the help of vue actually you can create your web development at very ease and in a fast pace because it reduces the loading time it bundles your files together so that your file becomes your web application user interface user interface becomes very smooth and powerful okay. because vue uses so many latest uh, algorithms to package and bundle your files okay the next one is react library actually react is a javascript li library used for building user interfaces react is not uh, actually a framework it's a javascript library it was developed by facebook and first deployed on its news feed in 2011 and later on instagram in 20, 2012 so react is one of the most widely used libraries as i told you because it is very 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 easy to use and again i'm speaking if you are a beginner you should try to learn react at first in comparison to other frameworks or libraries and uh, react is not a framework as i told you but it is often used with other libraries to render certain environments such as react dom for web and react native for mobile applications so if you want to actually make cross platform development and if you want to develop mobile applications that can be used in various devices then actually you can use uh, react native also you can assume that react native is a branch of react and that supports the functionality to build mobile applications that are used in mobile phones and uh, yeah you can use other libraries also with the help of other libraries you can uh, include powerful features in the react library a react project okay so other libraries are also compatible in compatible with react okay react's primary goal is to minimize the bugs that occur when developers are building user interface so while developing the project with react you will actually have a ease to debug your application you will encounter very less uh, errors and failures because most most of the errors will be shown 
during the development time itself so th that's why the debugging times gets re reduced to a great extent so this is the power of react library and uh, it does it it does this through the use of components which are self contained logical pieces of code that describe a portion of the user interface actually if you observe latest websites like youtube.com you can actually break down a whole website in various components like one component is for navigation one component is for showing options one component can be for showing video cards so th that's how you can actually break down your website into various components and each component is actually a logical piece of code that displays a portion of the user interface so as you are breaking your website into into the various components so that's why you are uh, having the bugs uh, the chances of bugs reduced to a very great extent and you will have very less bugs while developing your web app using react so this is one of the major power of react the next thing that we have is these components can be composed together to create a full user interface and react abstracts away much of the rendering work leaving developers to concentrate on the ui design actually by using the li react library you can actually uh, focus on how your user interface design will look like uh, without considering and without taking the load of how abstraction and other things will work you can actually focus on how ui will look like okay the next thing about react is react uses an html in javascript syntax called jsx jsx is a mixture of javascript and xml actually you can use uh, html in javascript uh, popularly known as jsx so that you can actually easily render and use html kind of functionalities in javascript itself this is one of the popular features provided provided by the react so the next thing that is react does not enforce strict rules actually you will have very lenient rules while developing your web application front end okay to build an entire app with react it is recommended to use a full stack uh, react framework like nest.js or remix actually react is a library but its framework is nest.js actually you can use nest.js but instead of using nest.js you can use simple react library also okay react is most popular javascript front end framework today uh, used in daily life of developers okay and it is used widely in big it companies that's why is it very safe and good to learn react in 2023 angular framework angular is a typescript based free and open source single page application framework angular is similar to react but it is a little bit complex in comparison to react it is made by google angular is complete rewrite from the same team that built angular js okay as a platform angular includes a component based framework for building scalable web applications again angular is also using component based things to make its web project and uh, the other thing that we can have is angular includes a collection of well integrated libraries that cover a wide variety of features including routing form management client server communication and more actually angular is a bit more powerful than react because it have well integrated libraries that have their unique features and powers so that's why i can say that angular is more powerful but initially you should uh, actually try to learn react at first if you are a beginner angular is designed to make updating as straight forward as possible so developers can take advantage of the latest developments with minimal efforts actually angular will have latest trendy functionalities so that developers doesn't have to take stress of learning them and they can actually use them very easily 
The Enkler ecosystem consists of a diverse group of over 1.7 million developers. So, as I told you, components are the building blocks of our web application, and Angular uses that component UI structure. Every component has a HTML template that declares how the component renders. As I told you earlier, the same thing happens in the case of React also. Angular adds syntax elements that extend HTML so that developers can insert dynamic values from their components. So this is very basic thing. And there is so much similarities between React and Angular. But only the thing is, tricky thing is, it is a bit tough to use in comparison to React. So in conclusion, I should say that efficiency. So front-end framework provide pre-written code which can save developers time and effort while building user interfaces. Consistency, cons front-end framework follows specific standard or conventions for organizing code which can make easier for developers to work with code written by others in the form of packages and libraries. Responsiveness, front-end framework include features like a grid system which can help create responsive layouts that can adapt to screen sizes. This grid system is nothing but a simple example. User experience using front-end framework can help improve the user experience to a great extent. And front-end framework offer a ground to develop while still permitting flexibility with a final design. So these are some basic points that we have already discussed. So this is it for this video. I hope you liked it and thanks for attending. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you guys.